The absence of reliable economic data creates huge, huge challenges. And why do we refer to this sector as a former? They are, they are categorized as a former, not because they are not seen, everybody sees them, but there is very little documentation, very little paperwork, and therefore it is difficult to identify them in a transparent manner. And so you appropriate billions of naira to support small scale businesses. You have huge challenges about definition of small. Where is he located? What exactly is he doing? How best can we assist it? But I'm not here to lament anything. I do not believe that the responsibility of leadership is to lament. It is to recognize the gap that exists between uh, 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 in terms of where, you know, what we ought to know and the so little that we know, even in the sector that account for so much in our lives. I mean, I, I worry, for example, and I think everybody has spoken about this, when these are the people who typically say if they don't work, they don't eat. And so they are the most, they are so hard hit with this lockdown. The big businesses, they can talk about relative loss or drop in profit. But these guys, it's about survival or perish. So, but the challenge is how best do you identify them? I think the lesson to learn from now is that once we recognize that a sector plays such an important role, it cannot be beyond the capacity of the state to deliberately put in motion a machinery that is designed to document, have uh, 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 all the numbers you need, the location, the number of businesses, the kind of people that the businesses employ. For example, everybody talks about agriculture, and that is true. The Nigerian farmers basically subsidize the rest of us. If they insist on market price, in fact, if you look at their input relative to output, but they are not economists, they are not documented. I'm not talking of the mechanized big farmers now. I'm talking of the small, small scale farmers. Now, they are the one who live in the rural areas. Fortunately, this crisis, in my opinion, does not affect people like that because social distancing is a given in a typical small scale farmland, even in the mechanized sector. 